Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be the tutorial for the look I'm wearing on my face right now. I used some maroons, some like really light purples. I wanted to make sure this was very floral in a sense with the pinks and the purples. You can kind of see the purple down below and the maroons mixed together. Super happy with how this turned out. It is a full face tutorial, so it might be a little on the long side, but I did want to make this a talk through or a voiceover because I haven't done a voiceover in a couple months actually. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to start by applying my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Skin Tone to my lids because I've noticed that lately my lids have been very, very veiny. So I want to try to combat that as much as possible with this product. I am also taking this under my brow bone just to give it a little bit of extra coverage there because my brow bone sometimes has some veins on it too. I don't know why. My face is kind of veiny. Can't help it. So yeah. Next I'm taking some tape and sticking it on my hand to remove a lot of the stickiness to it, making weird faces, and applying it to under parts of my eyes so I can get that perfect cat eye look that I know we all know and love. Um, don't worry about putting, making them too perfect. Um, they're going to be sisters, not twins. We can always just blend out the eyeshadows afterwards. Next, I'm going to go into the O Natural palette, and I'm pretty sure this is Nude Awakening. I absolutely love how gorgeous this palette is. I'm going to take that really pretty light, pinky, taupey, mauve shade. It's a really weird shade. On a fluffy brush and putting that right into my crease and blend, blend, blending it. You, you, you don't believe how long I blended this eyeshadow. I really wanted to make this really smoky and giving it that really just, I don't know mysterious look to it. I don't know. It just, it looked really pretty in the end and I'm happy that I blended it for as long as I did. So just blend, blend, blend like you've never blended before. So after I've done that and scratch my nose, make weird faces, I'm going to go back into that palette. I changed my mind. I was going to do the maroon first and I was like, mm, no. I went to the brown and decided that would look much better on the very outside corner. So I'm taking very little product at first and just blending that out into that outside corner of the eye and making sure that it really gets smoked out. I'm then gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna take the maroon, which you will see right here, and I'm gonna put that right next to it. I'm gonna blend it on the left side of that outside corner. So going in more into the eye, I'm blending that maroon right into that brown and it looks gorgeous when it's all said and done. So I'm very happy I did this step. So after you've blended and your wrists are in pain, we're going to go back into the palette to the left of that first shade we put on our crease on a flat shader brush, and you're going to make fun of my hair because it looks ridiculous, and we're going to start building up that color. I was very unimpressed with the pigmentation, and you're going to see my face in a couple seconds. I'm just like, ew, what is this even? I'm going to take the setting spray that Wet n Wild came out with, and I'm going to spray my brush a couple times. And with that, I definitely saw an improvement with the pigmentation. So there are some shades in this palette that I'm not too happy with, but for the most part, these are actually really good shadows. Next, I'm going to go back into that palette, and I'm going to use the second from the left shade. It's a really pretty pinky, peachy shade, and then just finish off the rest of my eye. It's going to give it that really pretty gradient look that I was looking for. And then I'm going to go in with that first initial shade we did um, in the crease. And I'm going to go back again with the fluffy brush and just reapply a little bit more, not too much. I wanted to make it so it looked more smoky. It wasn't as smoky as I wanted it, so I'm just making it even more smoky. And then we're going to go into removing the tape off our face because I was done with the tape on my face. It itched. I was done with it. And then we're going to go start priming our face for foundation application. And my hair looks ridiculous. Again, I'm done with it. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the Matte and Poreless Formula. I'm taking this on a flat foundation brush. I find this gives me the best coverage and the best long wear when it comes to foundations. I find that it works the best for me. We all have different methods of applying things, but I happen to like doing this first and then taking 
a stipple brush, my elf stipple brush, and then later on just buffing it all out all together. And remember, please remember, if your foundation does not match perfectly, please blend into the neck. It is the most important thing I think anybody can ever do with makeup is to make everything match. And here I am just blending it out with my elf stipple brush. I forgot to mention that I'm doing all this before I finished the bottom part of my eyes. So if you're looking at this and like, oh my god, she's ruining her eyes. No, I'm not. So next I'm going to go into the contouring palette from Wet n Wild in the shade Caramel Toffee. I absolutely love this contouring palette. It's such a natural contour. However, I did things ass backwards. I'm going to go back in with a brand new product from Wet n Wild. It is the Cream Duo. Um, it's a highlighting and contouring duo, and I'm super excited about it. You're going to see me right here. I'm using it right here. I'm going to highlight my face, and I know I did this ass backwards, but I didn't even think to use it until I was like halfway done contouring my face with that powder initial. So I'm going to go back in with that contouring powder and do it one more time after I blend all this stuff in, and it's actually going to look pretty good. So even though I did it ass backwards, it ended up looking pretty good. Yay me. I figured I'd give you a quick little uh, first impressions. I'm actually very impressed with how easy this was to blend. This is the highlight that I'm blending out from that duo from Wet n Wild. Super easy to blend out and it actually looked very, very natural. So I'm very, very happy with that product. If you find it in the drugstore, I found mine at Walmart. I highly suggest picking it up and trying it out. And now I'm going to set it with that other powder in that contouring palette from Wet n Wild. I loved how it looked. Who is calling me? Rude. Finishing up that contour one more time, and then we're going to go right into the highlighting process. I'm using ColourPop's Lunch Money. This highlight slays my life, my dog's life, my ferret's life, my husband's life. Anybody who looks at it, consider your life slayed. It is absolutely stunning and looks so natural. But then I was like, you know what? I don't look glowy enough. I'm going to go ahead and make myself look like Edward Cullen in the sun. And we're going to highlight my highlighter with another highlighter. So I'm using Wet n Wild's Illuminating Palette in the shade Catwalk Pink to just amp up this highlighter even more. Once we've reached Edward in the Sun, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the palette and finish the rest of my eye. So I'm taking the maroon shade first and blending that into the outside portion of the eye on the bottom lash line. But then I was like, you know what? I want something a little bit more plummy. It looked beautiful with just the maroons, but right here you're going to see me like, oh my god, I want more plum. So I went into my collection and found a palette I haven't used in a while. This is the Petal Pusher palette from Wet n Wild, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to take that purple, that deep purple, almost indigo shade, and blend that over the maroon, and it honestly added such a beautiful element to this look that I really was not going for initially but after it's on my eye I was like oh my god this freaking works beautifully. Now I'm just taking a combination of the first two colors in the palette and I'm gonna pop that on the inside corner of the bottom lash line to finish out the bottom lash line and then I'm gonna take the white one the very stark white and popping that right into the inside corner of my eye and then we're gonna go into the eyeliner which I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys what I do I'm not gonna talk through it. Just going in with a black eyeliner pencil, this one's from Rimmel, to the bottom lash line. And then I decided to go back into the Petal Pusher palette to go back into that purple and add a little bit of it into the upper outer corner of my eye. It just made it look that much more pretty. And then we're going to go in with mascara. I'm using the Lash Accelerator from Rimmel. I absolutely love mascara. I was going to do lashes. You can do lashes if you want, but I'm not a lash person. I'm not really good at them, so I avoid them like the Black Plague. And then we're going to go into the star of this entire look. I'm using the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color in the shade Dahlia. The formulation of this product is super, super amazing. I absolutely love it. Very, very creamy. They remind me of the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids. However, these are much more pigmented with just the first application and much more long wearing. So I absolutely love it. Just going in with my brows. I'm using the Maybelline Brow Duo. And then that completes this look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you recreate it, tag me in pictures on Instagram. 
and I'll see you guys later. Bye.